As a photography business owner, you want to provide clients with an amazing family portrait session that will become a favorite family memory for years to come, while also getting paid what you deserve. In today's video, I want to talk about five simple tips to help you do just that. And let me know in the comments below what you do to improve your clients' portrait sessions. Now, let's grab a hot cup of tea and get started. Hey, I'm Sarah Petty, and this channel is for photography business owners to learn how to build a thriving photography business and still be there for your family. You shouldn't have to pick. If this is a dream of yours, make sure to snap the subscribe button and click the bell notifications to stay on top of the best business photography content on YouTube. The first step is to plan the session in advance. This may seem like a no brainer, but you'd be surprised how many photographers wing it when it comes to family portrait sessions. I literally have my students in my photography business coaching program fill out a worksheet of what they're going to photograph based on what they're offering and how they're going to create a session that thrills their clients, but also get them the average order that they're wanting and needing. By taking the time to simply plan out the portrait session in advance, and I don't just mean the clothing and the locations, which is important, but also looking at what you're going to photograph that they're going to actually purchase. You can't just show up, take a bunch of images and be like, here, what do you want? It doesn't work that way. But your clients will totally appreciate your professionalism, your attention to detail, and the fact that you've made it so easy for them to make their purchase decision. Everything in a photography session is reverse engineered with the end in mind. We look at how we can create a session that's not just easy and low maintenance for the client, but that makes it easy and low maintenance for the client to place their order. That's what we do, that's why we're in business, and so many people forget that. Something else that's very important in a portrait session is making sure everyone is comfortable. Before I was meeting with my clients ahead of this session, I would just show up, and if they had a toddler and we were in a location that had sharp objects, whether it's rocks or a cliff or railings or things like that, I realized this may not end well. Or if we're with a large group and there are older people who can't easily get up and down a hill, there are so many little nuances when it comes to a session that need to be thought out in advance. If you think about these things, it will help you come prepared it will put the family at ease and it, it's obviously going to make them super cooperative, not just in this session, but they're going to know, oh my gosh, this person's a professional. They thought of everything. This has been so fun and so easy. That's what we want them to say. When it comes to your poses and oh, I don't know about you, but that word's kind of fingernails on the chalkboard, poses. When I was in high school and I got my senior pictures made, I went through the pose book and I circled the numbers. I want pose 14 and 22, and they lead me on the tree and literally do that pose. And I think photography has evolved and changed over time. For sure, I love a gorgeous, well-posed and well-lit photo of anyone. I love it. But also, we want to think about what is going to look amazing in the client's home. And maybe that's all of the kids hugging or laughing or jumping on a trampoline or running or walking and holding hands. It doesn't just have to be everyone sitting there smiling at the camera. If you are looking at the sales plan that we just talked about, likely you drew out what they're going to purchase. So if you get the posed, more traditional, formal image, don't be afraid to mix things up and add some variety, but also it's going to increase your order because they're gonna love it. Because they're gonna see, oh my gosh, I have to have the one of all the kids. I have to have the whole family photo. I have to have the individuals. I have to have each relationship image. I have to have the ones with the pets. So by getting creative with the poses and the, the design of the session, you're going to increase your orders without having to be pushy or salesy. That's the beautiful part about it. Make sure the location is perfect for 
the family or whatever group you're photographing. You wanna make sure it's safe. You wanna make sure the lighting is great. You can't photograph in a field at noon. You have these dark shadows and the raccoon eyes and it's gonna be very unflattering light. So if there's a field and there's literally one little tree, either change the time of day or change the location. Again, considering issues about, is it easy to get to? Is there parking? What if it rains? Is there traffic congestion? All of those things as a professional photographer are your job. What I like to do is scout that location at the exact time of day where the session will happen so I can look and see, oh gosh, there's a shadow from that tree right on the area where we were photographing or there's no shade. It doesn't matter if it's just a beautiful location. If the lighting isn't great, it's not a location that we can create a large wall portrait from. Therefore, again, different location, different time of day, consider a studio. All of those little things are important. I know for me, specializing in little kids and babies, all of my lights mount to the top of my ceiling. So I don't have to worry about little kids unplugging cords or tripping on anything. Literally, there's nothing they can hurt. Which if you're considering photographing a lot of young people, little babies and toddlers, not babies, clearly, because they're not running around, but soon they will be. And you're gonna keep clients coming back year after year. So. Think about that. I have a friend who's a, an excellent photographer and he wins all of these awards. And I went to his studio and literally the long hallway had all of these trophies, like literal trophies with pointy things all over it. And I'm thinking as a mom, this was years ago, oh my gosh, my kids would just be treacherous with this. What's going on? And he said, I don't ever photograph young children. It's not my thing. He was a single guy, I'd never been married or had kids. In fact, he would refer all of his clients who had little kids to me because he just didn't like to photograph them. And so think about that, right? Because if you've ever had little kids and they go into a room of shiny pointy things, you're gonna spend all of the energy saying, don't touch that, don't touch that. And that doesn't make for a very smooth portrait session, now does it? Yeah, all you parents are like, already sweating about that one, me too. So just make sure everything is safe and ready to go for everybody that you're photographing. Easy peasy. One of the best ways to capture a great family piece of artwork is by focusing on the relationships between the people. Not just what people look like in a documentary kind of way, but how people feel about each other. This means creating images when they're not perfectly posed or when something's happening and you're photographing here and you see it and you grab it, maybe the lighting isn't perfect, but I'm telling you, there's nothing more important to me as a mama of seeing my kids hugging or interacting or having a special moment. And when I create that sales plan in my studio, I have particular products that I'm photographing for that I know my clients can't say no to. And so even if they came looking for a large more posed traditional group photo, I'm gonna definitely photograph those relationship images because it's gonna increase their happiness and their order size, which is amazing. Now that we've talked about how to maximize your portrait session so that it's amazing, let's make one simple switch to increase the income you can make from your photography. Stop giving high res digital files away. In my marketing company, I teach my students to do something completely different. I call it the boutique photography business model and it serves you and your clients better. The shift has you focus on one client per week with a $2,000 average where you provide this amazing service. You meet with them, you plan everything, you give them a VIP experience. And in the end, you provide them beautiful wall portraits to decorate their home with instead of a bunch of digital files that they don't even know what to do with. They don't have the labs that we have. They don't have the Photoshop and the Lightroom and the color correcting experience that we have. So we're setting them up to fail. Let's set them up to succeed by serving them at a higher level and creating beautiful artwork to decorate their homes. If the pandemic didn't teach us anything about our clients needing beautiful artwork in their homes, I don't know what can, because they need it and we can provide it. Hey, if you found these tips helpful, make sure to like this video. A successful family portrait session is really as simple as these five steps that I've outlined. Planning your session in advance making sure everyone is comfortable, selecting a location that works for everyone in the family, getting creative with your poses, which will increase your order, focusing on relationships, 
which will increase your order. And most importantly, switching to a boutique photography model because you're serving your clients at a higher level. If you're ready to be part of a community of boutique photographers who value family first, growing a business and encouraging one another, come by our free Facebook group. I'll stick a link in the description below. And listen, thanks for watching because this is my passion. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do it here so you can get more content to help grow your photography business and your orders. If you love today's video, click here to get more actionable steps. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.